Is it the right time to buy or sell NEO stock? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into NEO. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, October 30, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Stay informed about any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of October 12, 2023, our system has identified NEO as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 4.37. Now, let's delve into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has shown a negative growth of minus 10.90%. This means that, on average, it has experienced a daily loss of minus 0.84% since being labeled as a sell candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a significant downward trend in the short term, indicating a continued decline. Based on the three-month trend, there is a potential minus 43.31% change over the next three months. The expected return falls between minus 53.06% and minus 32.57%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a projected minus 8.66% change over the next year. The potential return ranges from minus 18.21% to 83.54%. This translates to a price range of $6.15 to $13.80 after one year. Our latest update for NEO brings good news, green day on Monday for NEO. On Monday, the NEO stock price increased by 1.08% during the last trading day, going from $7.44 to $7.52. Throughout the day, the stock showed some fluctuations, with a range of 3.31% from a low of $7.40 to a high of $7.64. Over the past few weeks, the price has been fluctuating, resulting in a loss of 11.74% overall. On the last trading day, volume decreased by 7 million shares, with a total of 26 million shares being traded, amounting to approximately $191.93 million. It's worth noting that a decrease in volume alongside higher prices can indicate potential changes in the coming days. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price recorded was $16.18, while the lowest was $7. Presently, the current price is 53.52% lower than the 52-week high, amounting to a difference of $8.66. Additionally, it is 88.77% below the all-time high, which was reached on January 11, 2021, with a price of $66.99. Analyst Ratings On Monday, June 12, 2023, UBS gave NEO a neutral grade with a hold action. On Monday, June 12, 2023, Citigroup gave NEO a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, March 14, 2023, JP Morgan gave NEO a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, March 2, 2023, Telsey Advisory gave NEO a neutral grade with a downgrade action. On Thursday, December 29, 2022, Citigroup gave NEO a hold grade with a hold action. Analysts have generally rated NEO stock as a buy. They consider the P.E. ratio to be a strong buy and the price-to-book ratio to also be a strong buy. In terms of return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. In today's video, we'll be discussing the signals that have been identified for NEO. Let's start with the buy signal that was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, October 27, 2023. Since then, the stock has risen by 1.08%. This indicates a potential further rise until a new top pivot is found. However, it's important to note that volume fell during the last trading day despite the price increase. This creates a divergence between volume and price, which could be an early warning sign. So, it's crucial to closely watch the stock's performance. 
Moving on, there are also some negative signals to consider, which may have an impact on the near short-term development of the stock. Both short and long-term moving averages for NEO are indicating sell signals, suggesting a more negative forecast for the stock. Additionally, the relation between these two signals shows a general sell signal, with the long-term average being above the short-term average. Keep in mind that on corrections up, there may be resistance from the lines at $7.64 and $8.63. However, if the stock breaks above any of these levels, it will issue by signals. Lastly, it's worth mentioning that there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence (MACD). This further supports the negative outlook for NEO. Today, we'll explore some interesting signals that can help you make informed investment decisions. Let's dive in. The moving average convergence divergence signal indicates a sell. Pivots show a buy signal that occurred two days ago. Bollinger signals indicate a buy, which happened six days ago. The short-term moving average also suggests a buy, six days ago. However, the long-term moving average suggests a sell, 55 days ago. When we look at the relationship between the short and long moving averages, we see a buy signal 52 days ago. Now, let's shift our attention to the 12-month chart. The short moving average shows a sell signal 57 days ago. Similarly, the long-term moving average also indicates a sell, 31 days ago. However, the relationship between the short and long moving averages reveals a buy signal 27 days ago. For more signals like these, visit our page at stockinvest.us. Today, we'll be discussing support, risk, and stop loss for NEO. NEO currently finds support from accumulated volume at $7.44, which presents a potential buying opportunity. When this support level is tested, we can expect an upwards reaction in the stock price. In terms of volatility, NEO has average movements throughout the day, making the risk level medium. Yesterday, the stock moved $0.245 between its highest and lowest points, representing a 3.31% fluctuation. Over the past week, NEO has experienced an average daily volatility of 4.7%. Before we delve into potential trading levels for NEO, let's first review some important fundamental data. One crucial metric to consider is the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. It's not uncommon for established companies to face temporary downturns, often due to external factors. However, if a company consistently maintains a negative P-E ratio, it may suggest inadequate profitability and potential risks of bankruptcy. Moving on to other news, the upcoming earnings report for Q3 2023 is scheduled for November 8, 2023. Analysts currently estimate earnings to be $0.430 for this period. It's worth keeping a close watch on these figures, as they can significantly impact stock prices. Today, let's explore some potential day trading levels for NEO. If NEO experiences an upward trend, the first resistance level to watch for is at $8.55. If you haven't bought any shares yet, it might be wise to wait for this level to be surpassed before considering a position. For those who already own the stock, this level could be worth considering for swing trading opportunities. On the other hand, if NEO faces a decline, its first support level can be found at $7.44. If this support level holds, it could serve as a potential entry point, with the expectation of a rebound. Unfortunately, we have to give this stock a negative evaluation. We have not set a stop loss for it. Is NEO stock a good buy? Unfortunately, NEO currently exhibits several negative signals and is following a significant downward trend. As a result, we anticipate its performance to remain weak in the coming days or weeks, leading us to hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is overvalued. For the upcoming trading day on Tuesday, October 31st, we expect NEO to open with a decrease of dash $0.0017 and commence trading at $7.52.
Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading involves a high risk of losing money. Always consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By accessing and using the information provided, you agree to take full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. In this video, we'll be discussing our current view on a particular stock. We value your opinion, so don't forget to comment below and share your thoughts. We're also curious to know your target for the stock. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Our team wishes you successful trading and a beautiful day.